Alright guys, I wanted to go over soldering and see up close. You guys are going to be using the solder irons and if your solder iron isn't perfect like this one, and you can't get it to clean like this and then you can't get it to clean with your tinning solution, you put it in there, it melts the wax a little bit, cleans the tip and adds solder to it, all in one shot. So the tinning solution is excellent, but if you can't get that, you use this file and you file it so it gets pointier because you need the tip to be sharp and ready for work. So as you do that, you'll see it turns to brass color. We do this right away. We'll prevent from oxidizing and turning black. And you do this and you will smell ammonia. We are going to put a little more solder on the tip just to hold it over, keep it clean. And then we're gonna put it back in. The next phase is we're gonna solder this wire. So we don't wanna hold it ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our cleaning pads as a holding station. So we're gonna squish it over cause it's like a sponge. And we're gonna squeeze it in there so that it holds. And then we're gonna keep it horizontal. It means even with the horizon versus vertical, which would be straight up and down. So we are going to take this back. We're gonna view it and I'm going to clean the tip one more time. We're going to tin it. And that tinning, that, that bubble, if you look, you turn it, you can see there's a bubble. We're going to touch this, and this part is huge. And turn it so the bubble's facing up, and when I touch together, you'll see it wrap around a little bit. And we're going to hold it steady, not moving. Count 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000. And we're going to let the metal melt the solder, not the solder iron. No petting it, no moving the solder iron. Just hold it in a steady spot and then let go. And as you can tell, that's fully shiny. It's fully covered. And if you have to go back, touch it up again, melt the drop, and it just melts everything super fast because it's already covered. Alright guys, here's a demonstration of soldering two wires together. Okay, so here's my solder iron. I just finished sharpening it, so I have to tin it. Okay, give it a good cleaning there. We'll give it a little more assistance. Cleaner. One more time. Okay, and then we're gonna put some solder on this tip so that it spreads the heat, and we're gonna get these these different colors, so we have ourselves copper and silver, and we're gonna get the two to stick together. So again, we're gonna put solder on there, and then you can start counting. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. It's starting to change color already. And I'm gonna add, and as this changes color, and we get enough heat in the wire, the wire itself is gonna be melting the solder, not the solder iron, and there it goes. We've got enough temperature, and now you can see all the copper and the silver are joining together. I'm not moving the solder iron, I'm just moving the solder back and forth. And now you can see a perfect, fully coated, looks like it was a bumper to a vehicle that got chromed. Okay, and then if you have a little too much on there, you could always heat it up and then tap it off. It comes off pretty easy, see? There's a little marbles. All right, so that's soldering two wires together. And again, notice how I'm always cleaning this. I'm gonna put a blob of solder on there, just a drop. I'm gonna put it away now. So just that much solder, put it away so it'll stay.